when I say that these are the forgotten black metal techniques, obviously they're not completely forgotten or I wouldn't have remembered them. But I suppose what these are, are black metal techniques that you don't see that often, maybe don't hear that often. And I thought I would just do a little video to remind people of these techniques. Um, I can't remember where I saw most of these the first time or where I learned them. So if I can remember, I will reference it. Uh, a couple of things before we start. Don't forget to check out my black metal guitar course. I'll put a link in the description. And secondly, the drums I used on this recording are Colt Drums 2, and I'll put a link in the description to where you can find those as well. So technique number one is a string rake. And what I'm doing there, I'm simply playing directly above the seventh fret. And it's a little harmonic, okay, so. But I'm not holding that harmonic and letting it ring. I'm literally just raking those notes as part of the riff. And it doesn't just have to be here on the seventh fret. So I'm not playing in the fret. I'm playing directly above the fret. So you get that whole harmonic. Now, there are many places you can do that. You can do it on the fifth. 12. Um, it doesn't even have to be on a harmonic. You can just use a rake and do that in any position, but it just adds a different kind of sound to your riff. So that is the first technique, which is a rake. Um, as I say, I'm not letting that harmonic ring out. I'm just coming straight back in with the power chords that I'm already playing. Um, you can start riffs with it. made that up it wasn't very good but you know you get the idea so um that is technique number one which is the string rake the second technique is a tremolo picking technique but instead of playing four notes at a time which is easier because you've got more time to think about your string chain this one just uses two notes at a time so we're just picking this is just an E minor arpeggio and an E flat minor arpeggio and all I'm doing is moving down but I'm just playing two notes I'm starting on the high note and I'm playing two notes per string it takes a bit of practice because it's not like playing a normal which is something that you might be more used to doing. So that's technique number two, which is playing arpeggios, but only two notes per string. So the next technique is the whammy bar dip. It's not like a dive bomb where you do a slow dive. This is just a So it just takes the pitch down, but only very briefly. and you use that as part of your riff rather than um, using like a pull off or something like that you use it just to reduce the pitch but ever so slight uh, ever so quickly within that riff so the next technique similar to the technique in the death metal techniques but slightly different is drinking rum so this is a very simple technique you just take off the lid and drink rum Dark rum is best, but clear rum is fine. So the next technique is probably more well known than some of the others. However, it is still one that you don't see that frequently. And that is tremolo picking a string and putting in little bend. Which I used in that riff there. What I did there actually I used the harmony so I was doing a bend on the second fret here on the F sharp and 
and then I was putting in a bend here on the fourth of the A, which is the fifth of the F sharp. Um, you can use this anywhere. And it's a good one to use to create an unusual discordant sort of tone and also to create harmonies. And the final technique is what I call the flamenco chord technique. It's basically taking a chord Drum, which is what I did at the end. And let all of the notes ring out. But it is a lot to do with that. And it's making sure you're playing it through in time. And that is the last technique. As I say, I can't remember where I originally saw these techniques, but if you've listened to a lot of metal or black metal, I'm sure you've heard them all at some point. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, See you later.